All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is Alex, your toxic dating coach. And today we're going to talk about the number one thing that you should avoid when you first meet a man, and that's when a man speeds it up. Okay, so we're going to talk about what to do when a man tries to speed up the the pace of the relationship. Um, because a lot of the times, a lot of you ladies expose yourselves for being needy and desperate when you allow a man to speed up the relationship. Little do you know that if you actually protest and slow it down, it brings you power. It makes a man feel insecure and it makes him chase harder, all right? The number one mistake that you could do is accept when a man speeds it up. So we're going to watch what Ed Big Ed does um, when he tries to speed up the relationship and we're going to see what she does that breaks all of the rules that I that I ever preach, okay? Um, so let's watch this. And if you guys enjoy this type of video, let me know what other videos you guys want me to make. And by the way, ladies, okay? Yes, all right? Every time I make a video is when I wake up, all right? For all you ladies who are so curious, why do I look like that I just woke up? Guess what, um, Sherlock Holmes, all right? You're, you got, you're right. I wake up. This is how I'm able to make videos. I can't make videos throughout the day. I can only make videos when I'm at my, at my peak, at my strongest, at my most clear-headed, which is first thing in the morning. So if you guys, if you want Father Alex to keep making videos, I will highly recommend you guys stop talking about this, okay? Unless you want me to do something wrong to this channel. Exactly, all right? If you want me and Alex to keep coming back here, y'all better stop messing with my boy, Alexis, okay? So I better not hear anymore that Alex looks like he just woke up, all right? Anyways, Tyrone out, nigga. Exactly. Tell him, Tyrone, tell him. Okay, let's begin. Then. By the way... Huh, we're having a seminar December December um, 4th about social intelligence. If you guys, if, you, if you're a nice girl, if you're somebody that's tired of being played, if you're somebody that feels like you need to level up your social intelligence, go check, come check out this seminar. It's going to be in New York City. If there's any seminar that I highly recommend you guys come is this one. It's only 50 bucks. Bring your friends. It, it's going to be, trust me, you guys are going to love it when I put this out. It's going to be incredible. Um, and the, the ticket already, already selling out, man. So come attend and I'll see you guys inside and purchase my course. Nice girl available only for purchase this, this, um, November. Okay. Let's begin this. Hey, pumpkin. Oh, Hey, welcome back. Pumpkin. Pumpkin. We left off in the last episode with Look, Ed. man, there's no making fun of this man in this in this channel. We are good people, okay? We don't make fun of a man with a physical disability, ladies. That's right. I've seen you guys laugh at him. Y'all going to hell. All you guys. I'm kissing Liz again. Gross. Yeah. And Jesus then Christ, it sounds like eating clams. Sharing a bed together. So did they just sleep in the same bed or I love you. He said I love you. But mind you, this is the first date. This is the first date, and he's already saying, I love you. Ladies and gentlemen, don't be fooled. You're not that lovable. You're not that lovable where somebody could fall in love with you that fast. Usually, when somebody falls in love with you that fast, it's usually a projection. They're usually projecting. They're usually just, they're usually reliving a trauma and trying to fix it through you validating them. It's not, it has nothing to do with you. Nobody can love a person that quickly. Now, from time to time, yeah, in rare occasions, but for the most part, whenever you see it, assume it's a projection and you and that you have nothing to do with this. Did more happen? Let's find out. Awesome. Oh, and she has a cute little dog. Oh, look at the little dog. Who's the other one in the bottom? Oh, that's a good boy. Those are good boy. Oh, yes, you are, you little wolf. Bark, bark. Did you guys have sex? Okay, so. <laughs> it's like telling your boy the next day at the college party he just woke up. <laughs> yeah, I mean, we we made love all night. I banged her. Shut up. Is he for real? We made love, Jesus Christ. That was great last night, by the way. Mm-hmm. But both times. <laughs> oh, dear Lord. Ooh, gross. It's like a surreal dream. It's just like... And it was incredible. Like, yeah, that's some magic poo poo, man. Lord have mercy, man. That's some, that's some good poo poo. My God. Incredible. Incredible pussy. 
<laughs> Calm down, don't get me demonetized, love. It will go down in Big Ed history as, yeah, as the event. So now, what the, the fucking, <laughs> I don't know, <laughs> like, what is it, like the Big Bang? I don't know. I'm just hoping that every time it's going to be like that. No, it's not. No so he is gonna willing go down. to share this with the world. Let's see what Liz has to say about it. Oh, this is really good. Yeah. What is, what is this, like a fucking press conference? And she's lying, by the way. Look at her. That was a good night. Is he a good kisser? <laughs> I, I think she liked that, actually, which is something twisted about this. <laughs> I had to teach him how to kiss. <laughs> so I feel like I have to train him to do a lot of things, but we laughed about it. So it was the best night of his life, and she says they laughed about it. She didn't mention specifically that they slept together. Leave a comment and let me know if you think that they- Nah, they banged. Trust me, they banged. Did. I'm probably the first person in history to ever to be able to break out of the friend zone. And now I want Liz to be my girlfriend. Top eh, red flag. Ladies and gentlemen, look. If you ever encounter this, if you ever encounter a guy that after the first time you guys banged, or even like the second, third, fourth, fuck, even fifth time, he wants a relationship with you, never forget this. You're not that lovable. And I'm not saying this because I'm trying to put you guys down or maybe I'm projecting, okay? But people need time to fall in love with you. They don't really know you. They're not falling in love with you because they're connected to reality. They're not falling in love with you because... Because they're really seeing you for who you are. They're falling in love with you because they already came with that. They already, they were already looking for somebody to love. It wasn't, it wasn't a, a a decision they made because they had their ears on the ground and and they were and they were connected to reality. That's just not 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 how it is. They're they're projecting and they're and they're reacting to that projection. And when that projection fades, which is when you get close and when you open up. They're going to wake up, and you're going to notice they go cold instantly. And now you're in love with somebody who doesn't love you. Look, this happens often. This happened to her. I mean, I'm pretty much saying what happened to her. Talk about going from zero to 100. I guess imaginary sex with her made him think that she will say yes. I would like to introduce you um, as my girlfriend at the wedding. And so will you be my girlfriend? Well, did they say make sure to be there so we can see your face? They should have made sure so we can see her fucking face. My God, look, <coughs> she's a nice girl, man, but she's a, she's a, she she she's not the brightest. Not in a negative way, but when you're in love, you're not the brightest. So we're seeing her low lights, but it's always good to say no because again, if you're somebody that's really nice, usually you struggle with gaining respect in relationships. That's what you know. It just you know it just happens. So. By you saying no, it just gives you it gives you leverage because now they're the they're the needy ones and you're the one that doesn't know whether or not you like them. You get what I'm trying to say? Friend at the wedding. And so will you be my girlfriend? There is a whole ten seconds of silence before she answers. I will be your girlfriend. You'll be my girlfriend. Just at the wedding. Not just the wedding. <laughs> oh my god. Well, she said yes. Well, I mean, maybe she was being dramatic, but it, it's a bad decision, man, because it shows you that you're also needy. God, my mercy. Anyone else still having a hard time believing this storyline? How did it go from this? No, I'll really? be your girlfriend. Oh, yeah. Wow. Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh god, the clams. This is a reminder to subscribe to this channel. Let me see what the. Let me see what the. Comment section says one second. Uh, let's see. I'm I'm giving Liz credit for lasting this long. I will give up my relationship with my daughter for Liz. Ad probably. <laughs> Liz told herself numerous times that money has to be has to be made in order for my bills to get paid. <laughs> she has to be getting paid. No disrespect, but she clearly is not into this. Is Ed already in love with? with to where he's oblivious to is that this could happen actually. She's going to crush him when she breaks up with him. He's a bit pushy. Yep. When your stepmom is born after you, not weird at all. It's fine. Ed is a total creeper. And she's giving mixed signals. He has the body and the mind of a child. Come on, we well, gotta go with the body. She's going after to get airtime. Nah. His long hair. 
His long hair shapes his face into Patrick Stark. Lord have mercy, man. All you motherfuckers are going straight to hell, man. All you guys are going straight to hell. Let's have a moment of silence for Liz for suffering, for the suffering she went through for this check. <laughs> TLC has been trolling us. Every time Ed opens his mouth, I just knew it's cringe. Damn, who said money doesn't buy love and sex? Well, ah, man, that's, that's rough, man. If you don't, Big Ed will appear in your bed tonight. No. And no, TLC will not pay you after. I just hope I don't blow it. Let's see how long it takes for Ed to mess Tyrone up. Tyrone does not want Big Ed to Let's show up in my apartment, okay? So you better hit the like button because Tyrone is not gonna let Big Ed enter his apartment, okay? God damn it. I if it's up to me, it would never happen. All right, Tyrone out, nigga. That's a Tyrone out. All right, sorry. <laughs> More thing? Um, now that you're my girlfriend, I want you to meet my daughter. Wow, it only took seven seconds. Lord have mercy. Ladies. <laughs> Ladies. Pack your bags and fucking run for the hills, man. This is the red fucking flag. God have mercy, man. This is like... You're seeing an extreme, but anytime you see anything close to it, run. It's like seeing the color. It's like seeing the color, baby blue, but a very intense blue, right? You're seeing a very intense version of blue. Anytime you see anything in the middle, fucking midnight blue, fucking magenta, fucking um 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 cobalt blue, light blue, fucking uh, midnight blue. Anytime you see any variation of that blue run away, that's what we're seeing here. We're seeing an extreme, but anytime you see any variation of this, run, because it's a red flag. That was really quick. Okay, sorry. Okay, yeah. There is no slowing this guy down. Tiffany is one year older than Liz, so the age gap for Tiffany is going to be a big concern. Why would he want her to meet his daughter all of a sudden? Definitely okay. think about what you just said. I will. It's just nerve wracking and I'm just anxious because I don't think that should have been brought up just yet. Well, you should. You, why are you acting? You see, ladies, some of you ladies act like you have no control over this. Why are you acting like you're a, a, a unwillful victim being dragged into meeting her? P take some fucking control, lady, and, and say no. What the fuck, dude? Like, you're looking... This is not how you deal with things. This is how you look dumb. This is how this is how men don't respect you by you just going with the wind without standing up for yourself. Come on, man. Yeah. The wedding is amazing. Liz looks like a freaking model. It feels like I'm in a relationship and it's great. <gasps> He's going to propose. Liz lights up my world and I'm realizing that. Oh my God, look at her body language. Look at her hand. She is nervous as fuck. I mean, this says, this says, you know, can we just get, can I, can I just get, yeah, like, honestly, man, this is like, look at the nervousness in her face. Look at the tenseness. That smile isn't even make, making her eye, her eyes um wrinkle. It's a, it's a fake smile. I mean, she got, she got some, some, some heavies, but we're not going to go there. Father Alex is, Father Alex is a respectful man. <laughs> she is who I want to be with forever. He wants to be with her forever. Come on, TLC yeah, forever, is building bro. Up, like... up to a proposal. I mean, he's moving so fast. I bet he does it. Leave a comment below. Do you think I'm right? Is he going to propose? Yes, white lady with the nice voice. I think he's going to propose, all right? All right, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um... Avoid this type of guy at all costs, like I always say. This channel is more of a warning channel than anything else. Um, and um, another warning, attend my seminar in New York City. It's going to be called Social Intelligence. It's going to be really fun. Um, I, honestly, like, there's a reason why I call these seminars fun. Because they are fun. All right? Um, I'll see you guys in the next video. Stay toxic, my friends. All right, so if you're a nice girl, if you're tired of being played, if you're tired of people not respecting you, if you resent that people don't take you seriously, if people just see you as a sex object, if you feel like people are always playing you, I would highly recommend you check out this call, course called Nice Girl. I rarely put out courses, and every one of my courses is with a specific purpose. Psychological Game of Attraction was just for single people. Natural Chemistry was for women in relationships. This course is for specific nice girls. 
Now, most of you guys are nice. Most of you guys have great hearts. Unfortunately, men take advantage of you. So I have this limited time course. Specifically, you guys can only buy it and get access to it July and November. Now, if you purchase it in July or November, you could, you could have access to it all year round. But you could only purchase it July and November. So this month only, you guys can purchase this course. It's only for a limited time, right? So in this course, you're pretty much going to learn about how to, how, how, to, how to set boundaries, how to project a, a powerful presence, how to create healthy boundaries, um, how to communicate yourself in, a, in, a, in an assertive way, how to not let people take advantage of you. Like you're gonna learn the art of um, how to identify those who are trying to take advantage of you, how to assert yourself, signs of weakness, signs of strength, and how to communicate signs of strength, and how to lower the signs of weakness. All of these things, I can promise you, ladies and gentlemen, look, okay? If you just do what this course says, just doing what this course says is gonna improve not only your dating life, but your professional life, your personal life, your social life with your friends and family. Because people will always try to test you. People will always see whether or not they can take advantage of you, even a fucking child. So by purchasing this course, you could, so you could, you could create an, a, a, a healthy immune system. There are three types of immune system. There is your body's Im immune system, there is an emotional immune system that you increase through meditation. And then there's a social immune system that is through self-assertion. Okay? So this course will help you build that, emo that social immune system to, talk, to push away certain behaviors from your life and certain people. And by default, you attract the right people. So check out that course. One, it's not, okay, look, I'm just going to be honest with you. It's not going to make you, it's not going to fix the problems 100%. I'm, I'm not here to lie to you guys. I'm here to give you realistic expectation, okay? It's not going to make you, it's not going to completely change your life from day to night. But if you do what the videos say, okay, if you're 20% not, if you're, if you're at a 20% in terms of assertiveness, by finishing this course, you could go through it 40%. Now, you guys might say, where are the evidence for it? In my life only, okay? And through people's experience through applying these methods and through doing research about what actually helps assertiveness, okay? So I, I thoroughly re researched this, um, this course. I put a lot of thought into it. It's not complete. Next month, I'm going to add another part, which if you buy it now, you're going to have access to it, okay? So I'll see you guys inside that course and stay toxic, my friends. Purchase it now while I'm closing the channel, okay? See you guys inside.